we're going to discuss how to afford to pay your mortgage if you're off work due to accident or sickness. So let's get into it. Taking out a mortgage is probably the largest credit commitment you'll ever take. Not enough borrowers are made aware of the repercussions of not paying your mortgage. Can you really afford to live on £100 per week, which is what the state will provide you if you are out of work? You cannot afford not to repay your mortgage as your home may be repossessed if you do not keep up with your payments. Income protection is an insurance policy designed to pay you if you're off work due to accident or a sickness. Typically speaking, it will pay you 50 or 60% of your taxable salary, depending on the insurer. So why would you have income protection? Many employers actually don't provide you with any sick pay at all, so you're having to rely on the state. Now we'll cover state benefits shortly, but an income protection policy is designed to pay your mortgage and your associated bills if you are off work due to an accident or a sickness. Even if your employer does pay you an element of sickness, that sickness payment might only be for a month, two months, or maybe for six months. What an income protection policy will do is pay you an income until you're fit enough to go back to work. So if you're not fit enough to go back to work at all, an income protection policy can pay you indefinitely. If you're unable to work due to sickness, remember you still have to pay your monthly household bills. By having an income protection policy in place, you can continue to pay those household bills and not fall behind with any of your monthly repayments. As well as covering your mortgage payments, an income protection plan can also cover your other credit commitments that you may have. What it's essentially doing is limiting your chances of having the property repossessed in the future. So when we speak to our clients and when we ask them how would they pay their bills and their mortgage if they was out of work due to accident or sickness, some of the typical responses are The state will look after me. Now, I've got some shocking news for you. The state will only pay statutory sick pay of approximately £100 per week. That's payable for a maximum of 28 weeks if you're liable for statutory sick pay. Now, let's think about it. £100 per week equals roughly £400 per month. That is typically the cost of a food bill for a family of four. So that £400 per month wouldn't really go that far. So now that we've discussed what income protection is and the impact of not having income protection, let's bust some myths. Myth number one, income protection is too expensive. Well, news for you. Income protection can start from as little as £20 per month, depending on your age and the amount of cover that you're looking for, as well as your medical history. One way of minimising your premium is by potentially having a short-term policy that pays out for either a year or two years. Myth number two, the policy will only pay out for serious illnesses such as cancers or strokes. Well, that's actually not true. The most claimed for condition on an income protection plan is actually around mental illness such as stress or depression. The next most claim is for long-term back pain. So you don't need to be seriously ill to claim on an income protection policy. Your policy may not pay out if you've been untruthful on the application. So it's very, very important that you open an honest on an application and you disclose any pre-existing medical conditions. Remember, your policy will also have a certain waiting period before it will pay out. Now, that waiting period might be as little as one week, or it could be four weeks, or it could be six months. Please check your terms and conditions of your policy. The waiting period will be aligned to when your sickness benefits cease from your employer. So if you receive six months of sickness benefits from your employer, the waiting period is likely to be six months. So let's recap. Can you really afford to live on £100 per week, which is what the state will provide you if you are out of work? You cannot afford not to have this cover. If you find this video helpful, please go and check out our other videos.